In this video, I'm gonna show you how to update or upgrade your computer with the XFX Radeon RX 5600 XT Thick 2 Pro. This beautiful card will make a great addition to any machine, but first off, there are some things we need to do before we actually install it. So let's get started real quick. Okay, so first off, we're gonna come over here to amd.com, then we're gonna go over to drivers and support, scroll down a little bit then we are going to go to graphics amd radeon 5600 series rx 5600 series and finally rx 5600 xt and then click submit we can skip that just for now select your version of windows for me it's going to be windows 10 64 bit and I'm going to download the latest and the greatest, the 20.4.2, but it may be different for you. And then you just click download. While that's downloading, we're gonna come over here to wagnerdsoft.com. Then we're going to click on DDU driver, display driver uninstaller, the latest version. Scroll down a little tiny bit. Click here for download and support. And finally, come down a little bit more and then click official download here. So what DDU does, it uninstalls your current video driver, whether it's Intel, AMD, or Nvidia. It'll get rid of it, that way you have a fresh slate. I also recommend it if you have a previous AMD card. Now that both are downloaded, what I'm going to go ahead and do is click on the DDU. I'm going to go ahead and set it up on my D drive under the DDU directory, extract. So now that that's extracted, we're gonna go ahead, hold the left shift key, right click on the start button. While you're still holding the left shift key, hover over shut down or sign out and then click restart. What that's gonna do is going to go ahead and reboot you into safe mode of Windows. Okay, then on this screen, you can let go of the shift key by the way. You're going to click troubleshoot, advanced options, startup settings, and then here we'll click restart. Okay, and then here number four to enable safe mode. All right, so when we're in Windows, we'll just close this out. Now we'll go to that directory that we've created. And now double click on display driver uninstaller. Click okay here. You're going to want to make sure you have selected prevent downloads of drivers from Windows updates when Windows search for a new driver for a device. That way, when you boot back into Windows, it doesn't automatically update your driver with whatever Microsoft wants you to have. If you do have an AMD chipset, your motherboard chipset, you're using an AMD CPU, you're going to want to uncheck the remove C AMD driver folder, uncheck the remove driver filter, and uncheck the remove AMD audio bus. That way it doesn't play with any that stuff and now click close over here you're going to want to click select device type gpu then you're going to want to select whatever gpu you're using i currently am upgrading from a 5500 xt now to the 5600 xt so i'm going to select amd but if you have nvidia select nvidia after we've selected amd we're going to want to click clean and shut down so what that's going to do, it's going to get rid of everything AMD graphics related, and then it's going to shut down your computer so that you can install your brand new video card. All right, so let's get started on that. Okay, so now before we actually pick up the video card or touch the inside of the computer, you're going to want to ground yourself either with an anti-static wrist strap or a ankle strap or whichever way you choose. The way I like to do it is I like to touch the inside of the case, the metal, the steel, the aluminum. That way you get rid of all the ESD in your body and you don't damage any of the components. Now, if while you're doing this at some point you have to get up and then come back before you touch anything, again, just get rid of all that static in your body. Now, the next thing we need to do is we Need to take off the PCIe cable from the video card. So let me bring you a little bit closer. Okay, so right here is the PCIe cable. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit closer so you can see the actual clip that's on there. Okay, this little clip right here, you notice when I push down, that goes ahead and lifts it over the little clamp right over here. So we'll just push this down and pull the cable out. It's that easy. With that PCIe cable out of the way, we're going to want to go ahead and unscrew it from the case itself. Now yours might be a little bit different from mine, 
Mine has a little mechanism here to lock everything in place. I'm just gonna go ahead, unscrew that. I'll pick it up later and I'll take that piece out. Now we reveal the two screws right over here holding the video card in place. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove those. Now it helps if you have a magnetized tip. Okay, now we can't just pull the video card out. You'll notice in the back, there's a little clip holding it in place. And let me zoom in so you can see that. Okay, you'll notice there's a little black clip right over here. What we're going to want to do is push down that little clip. You'll notice the video card kind of pushes out a little bit when we do that. Okay, and then at that point, we can just pull the video card out. So that little clip locks on to right over here, which locks the card in place. All right, so now that we have this video card out of the way, we can install the XFF Radeon RX 5600 XT Thick 2 Pro, okay? So let me change the camera angle a little bit so that you can see exactly how to slide it in. All right, so now, these pins right over here, they're gonna slide into the PCIe slot right over here. And then you're going to notice these two right over here, they're gonna slide in between the motherboard and the rear of the case here. So now we'll just go ahead and push that in lightly. You don't have to push incredibly hard. Okay, so you saw how we matched up that PCIe slot to the card. Now we just lightly push it in and you'll notice that little locking mechanism is going to pop right back up. All right, now the card is locked in place. Okay, so now that the card is in place, we're gonna go ahead and screw it in right over here. Gonna go ahead and put this back in place. All right, now we have to slide in the eight pin PCIe cable. Okay, again, it is an eight pin PCIe cable and here is that little retention clip right over here. And that's gonna go ahead face up and video cards are typically on the bottom while AMD cards, typically the clip is on the top. So we just push it in and that's it. It locks right in place. Okay, so if you're upgrading from onboard video, you're no longer going to want to plug in your video card or your monitor back here. You're going to want to plug in your monitor down over here. And then also before you connect your computer to power and everything, and before you're, you put the glass or the side panel back on, just make sure all of the ports are easy to access on your video card. Easy way to check it is just make sure that you can plug in your HDMI cable or your DisplayPort cable. And if you can, then you're ready to go to turn on your computer and install the drivers. All right, so let's go ahead and turn on the computer for the first time. All right, so now that we're in, we're gonna go ahead to File Explorer, go to Downloads, and we're gonna go ahead and install the Win 10 Radeon software Adrenaline. Just double click on that and click install. All right, so now with all that, right here we click additional options and we're gonna do head factory reset just to make sure that we have everything solid and then click install. So what that's gonna do, it's gonna go ahead, restart your computer in a second and then ask you to start installing the drivers. That's going ahead and cleaning out older drivers. Now, I know you might be thinking, but Didi, you did all that. This is just a double check, and then we'll click restart. All right, so then logging back into Windows, Adrelin is gonna automatically start installing. All right, so now we're done. You can 
either leave all this checked in or just uncheck that guy and do a finish. And that's gonna go ahead and open up the brand new 2020 Radeon software. So we're gonna go ahead through quick setup. Okay, we're gonna be using this for gaming, but you could do for esports or for standard and click continue. So then here, it's gonna go ahead and pick up all your games, all right? So, and you're gonna get all these pop-ups just for a little while, okay? So then here we're at the beginning of the software. It is awesome, they've done a great job at it. From the main screen, you can see all the games you've launched over here, and then you can launch those games. You can check your global graphics settings, which we'll go over in a second, all your media and capture here, take a screenshot, record a video, instant replay, instant GIF, GIF, G-I-F, GIF. <laughs> you don't have any recent games yet browse all your games here it tells you all the version information here and then to check for status updates check for drivers all that good information over here under gaming picks up all the games that you have installed and then lets you set different settings for them your media here compatibility streaming you can control all your streaming stuff here scene editor performance here is where you can have some fun with the card. You can see all the current information the card has to offer right now, even while you're gaming. Mind you, you'd have to alt tab and see that. But anyway, under tuning, warning, but here you can overclock your video card and then they give you all the advisors here. All right, so that's about it for now. Again, this is Iggy showing you guys how to install your XFX Radeon 5600 XT Thick to pro this is the 14 gigabits per second card beautiful card but of course i'm just getting started as you see you are going to see a lot more from me coming soon iggy up see you guys